Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Matt here. Uh, I'm just enjoying a beautiful morning. I hope you're doing well also. Um, so I'm going to be bringing to you this morning um, our, our devotional. And uh, I hope that you had an opportunity to be able to check out Pastor Jake's message this last weekend in uh, Luke chapter 16. It was, uh, it was great. He did a great job. And so this morning, uh, I'm going to just highlight a couple of verses. There's uh, 16 through 18 in chapter 16. So again, Luke chapter 16, verses 16 through 18. And I'm going to back up a couple of verses to chapter or to verse 14, just to give a little context of what we're doing. And um, I'm reading out of the Passion Translation, and it's just a beautiful translation. Would love for you guys to check that out in the future. Uh, but let me read through this really quick, and then I'll kind of get into defining what's happening here. So in verse 14, it says, Now the Jewish religious leaders who were listening to Jesus were lovers of money. They laughed at what he said, and they mocked his teaching. So Jesus addressed them directly. He said, You always want to look spiritual in the eyes of others. You know that? But you've forgotten the eyes of God, which see what is inside of you. The very things that you approve of and applaud are the things that God despises. Man, the law of Moses and the revelation of the prophets have prepared you for the arrival of the kingdom realm announced by John. And now when this wonderful news of God's kingdom realm is preached, people's hearts burn with extreme passion to press in and receive it. Heaven and earth will disintegrate before even the smallest detail of the word of God will fail or lose its power. And then he went on to say, it is wrong for you to divorce your wife so that you can marry another. That's adultery. And when you take that one that you've lusted after as your wife and contribute to the breakup of her marriage, you're once again guilty of adultery. So let me kind of break this down um, into some bite-sized chunks that, that we can kind of hold on to. So, again, Jesus is talking to the Jewish uh, religious sect, um, and they obviously loved money. And Jesus just went right to the heart of it. He said, you know, you always want to look spiritual to others, and um, you've forgotten that God sees straight to the heart. And the things that you value, the things that you, you run to, uh, are the things that God despises. And when I think about how that applies to us personally, um, I think about whatever it is that I run to God or run away from God in order to feel better about myself. Um, so in those moments where I'm feeling hurt or I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed or anxious or insecure, um, you know, whatever it is that I run to is what's known as a coping mechanism. And um, anything that's a coping mechanism, anything that we go to that's, that's uh, something that you know, maybe momentarily helps us to feel better, is more than likely something that is taking the place of God. And that's what Jesus is directly addressing here with these religious leaders. He's kind of shedding light, uh, putting a big spotlight on their, their two-faced nature. With one hand, they're religious leaders. Um, they, are, they're, they're, uh, they look the part. And then behind the scenes, they're coping with all of their anxieties and their difficulties and their hurts. And um, this group, apparently, they love to cope with things and riches and wealth and money and all that uh, money brings. And so Jesus wants them to understand that um, there's something greater than that. And he talks about that. He said, John, who came before me, uh, talked about all of the, the kingdom that is coming and uh, God's will that will be done. And he, he said that even the people that are hearing about that, um, the people that hear about that good news, their hearts explode with passion and desire to know more. And uh, Jesus was just, just saying that there are other things to cope with. There are other things to place our value in. And I think this morning, the bigger piece for us to think through is, what is it that we're placing our hope in? I know that uh, we're tired of the word unprecedented. <laughs> we're tired of hearing about all the things that 
uh, are coming up. Um, you know, we've had a crazy, and we're still in the midst of political stuff. We're still in the midst of uh, COVID. We're still in the midst of kids not going to school and, and video learning. We're in the midst of some of us maybe lo losing jobs or wages, and uh, we're in the midst of r racial turmoil still, and uh, none of these things have found a solution. But we have a solution. We have Jesus. And some of you may feel like that's too simplistic. Um, that's, that's not really addressing the issue. And I, I beg to differ. I think that Jesus is the solution for all of what ails us. Because when we place our trust, our hope, our faith, our future, and all those other things of challenges and difficulties, hurts, habits, hangups, and we give those to Jesus and we say, take these from me and replace it with something else. And we go to him to cope. Um, then our outlook is completely different. So this morning, let me, let me pray with you and uh, just ask that the Lord would really uh, envelop you today, uh, that you would find your hope in him and not in the lust of money or the lust of anything else that you might run to to fill the void uh, that, that might be in your heart. So, Father God, we just come before you this morning. We thank you for the time that you've given to us. We ask, God, that today you would uh, just overwhelm our senses, our hearts, um, our minds, our thought processes, and the challenges that we find ourselves in today, God. I just ask that you would help us to give them to you. Father, meet us in our brokenness and uh, create an awareness and a hope in you. Uh, fill us, Lord, with your joy. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope that spoke to you on this Monday morning, and um, have a great week. Talk to you soon.